Hi, this is uh, Fred at Braithard Allotments. I've just come down tonight to uh, chop my potatoes up because I ain't got enough muck, so I've chopped them up now. And what I've done, because somebody said there's going to be some frost, so I've chopped, I've put these three um, potatoes in each tub, three in every one, took, filled them up right nearly up to the brim, chopped it up with uh, straw because somebody said there's going to be frost coming, so I thought. Take no chances, do it properly. So hopefully that should protect them, hopefully. And that tub is going to be for carrots. Couple of the Nero, yeah, they're coming on all right. Let's have a look in the hut, see what we got. Now these are coming on the street now, to be quite honest. Yeah, tomatoes are not coming in yet. Soon, but not yet. So, right. Right, look at them beauties. Cauliflowers, they've come on a real treat there. I will reckon another two weeks, perhaps even less, they should be going to ground. These are the cabbages, the leeks, I only put them in last week and look at that lot. And Brussels sprouts. Now here, I've put a double one on there because it is not the sweet corn. These are the sweet corn. Uh, nearly everyone's germinated, perhaps there's another three to come. And then we should be complete. Somebody's eating that one, I'm sure they are. Anyway, let's have a look. Yeah, they look okay. So they're coming on nicely. So they're coming on okay. That's going to be for me butter, butter head lettuce. They're going in there. I've got my tubs for me. Um, right, I'll just lock it up now because I keep the warm, I keep as much warm air in as I can. So, and I don't lock it because if somebody breaks in, well, they break in. Right, this is the strawberries. I'm going to put a net over these when they start flowering. And I'm going to... It said manure, so that's okay. So I'm, what I'm going to do is put straw around everyone. That will stop the slugs, hopefully. I've partly dug this over. I'm going to dig some more up yet. So, but yeah, these, oh, these flowers coming in already on pear tree. So that's looking good. Right, I've been fetching compost again. Oh God, trying to find compost. One for that bed, one for that bed, one for that bed. I'll need another three more, and that should do me for a year. I've dug them to these two beds. I've just dug these over. These have had composting, they've had manure in, and that's the same compost and manure. Well, Brussels sprouts and leeks. I think I might put French beans in there, but I'm not sure yet. Now, these are the Onions, 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 oh, shallots, uh, chilies, not <laughs> chilies, what am I about chilies? Anyway, I forgot the bloody name now. Right, so this bed is going to be for beans, that bed for peas, uh, Radish, I think I put radishes in there. Now then, this one's for the cabbage and the collies. I'm going to put them together because they do all right. I should be able to get a lot in that one. Now, I'm experimenting here with this one. Somebody said if you cut the leaves off, you get bigger bulbs. Now, I don't know if it's not true or not, so I'm going to try it one row, cut all the leaves off, and see if I get bigger bulbs. I don't know if I will or not. I don't know. So... That's the red onions. I'm really pleased how everything's looking at the moment. I'm going to sow the beetroot you saw outside direct, the carrots you saw direct, outside direct, so there's no good dirt doing them up. The peas I'm going to do in another week, and I'm going to put them in a, a gutter tray, a gutter, fill it full of muck, put them in gutter, and then slide them, them up, the gutter into the ground. So that should work okay, that. I've seen them do it, I've not done it myself, but... Oh, yeah, well. So, just a quick visit. I'm off home now. Because <laughs> it's it's quite cool at the moment. In the Polish tunnel, it reached 28, but it's gone down to 12 now, so... But what's in there should be all right. The oh, we're going to bring the collies and cabbage out, and but I'll not do that well tomorrow, so... So, just a quick visit, so... Well, if you like what you see, press the subscribe button. Every little bit helps. 
and if you want to know anything just ring that bell and uh, send me a question I'll try and answer it if I can okay now bye for now bye